Hi guys, my name is Elisa and this is my YouTube channel uh, where I talk about knitting and everything which is knitting related. So uh, usually I have a podcast, the Knitting Stories podcast, but actually I have so much fun like mm, making plans for my future knits and so on that I sometimes of course also talk about yarn and knitting plants and patterns that I found on Ravelry or on Instagram and that I would like to share with you and actually this is one of those videos so recently I think I realized that one of the uh, trends one of the knitting trends of these spring and summer will probably be lace. So I've seen that so much designer, so many designers have come up with an incredible number of uh, tops and tees and everything you want, uh, which include lace. And yes, lace is probably not the easiest thing when it comes to knitting, but actually when you like uh, when you learn uh, how to make certain uh, kind of stitches it becomes a lot easier and so I think I really like this trend I think I really like the look of lace not to um, I think uh, that I like simple lace it doesn't have to be too much intricate because my style is really simple is really uh, <laughs> I would say plain looking like I love stuck in a stitch so uh, yeah uh, but yeah, I found uh, um, that these will be uh, an important trend uh, for these uh, warmer months, months and so I decided to create a sort of uh, um, roundup of patterns of tees and tops which include lace knitting. I also, um, if you've seen one of my previous videos, you uh, probably have noticed that I was a little bit like upset with the uh, Dutch weather so I recently moved to the Netherlands and it, very close to Amsterdam because I have an internship here and yeah but I come from Italy I am from Italy so well I'm used to very warm spring well when I came here it was very cold, it was raining all day long, but some of you guys have warned me saying that pay attention because the weather will turn immediately and it will be very hot. And indeed this happened, like in these days we have 25 and we will reach maybe 28 degrees. Uh, so uh, yeah, I have to be prepared for summer, so uh, this is one other reason for me to create this bundle of uh, and tops. Of course uh, I created a bundle over on Ravelry so you have uh, you will be ha you will have this bundle linked uh, in the description down below and now I will start to present you some of the patterns that I found uh, uh, recently uh, so these are especially uh, tops sleeveless tops but also we have some tees and some uh, three quarters sleeve sleeves and I decided also to include uh, uh, some free patterns because I think that these could be a good idea to like uh, practice lace knitting especially for uh, beginner knitters who don't have to buy a pattern without knowing if they will be able, able to, um, to uh, knit lace. Uh, I say that because this was my first experience with lace so I tried at the beginning I tried to uh, knit myself a sleeveless uh, top uh, with uh, with lace and I realized that it wasn't the right moment so I just did something else and then came back to lace later but uh, yeah let's start uh, with uh, the pattern roundup so I have my computer here um, and uh, I'm simply reading through Ravelry pages and of course they will appear on the uh, screen uh, while I'm reading it, while I'm explaining why for example I really like some one of those patterns, what is that I like, what is that I don't, uh, what would I change and things like that. So um, yeah, I'll just start. <laughs> 
Um, so as a first pattern, I uh, would like to propose you the Lanikai Summer Tea by Sally Yi. Uh, this um, uh, tea pattern is very recent because it was first published uh, in uh, uh, May 2023. And I really like this pattern because uh, the yarn weight is light fingering. And I think that this is perfect for summer and spring. Like I don't really like uh, cotton yarn or um, you know summer fibers and instead I would prefer to knit with a very very thin yarn so this is my personal preference guys um, so uh, the designer says that the Lanikai summer tea is designed with uh, an, is designed with an oversized fit allowing for a generous 20-25 centimeters of room around the chest and this is probably what I like the most so it, I think that this would be very comfortable for summer and spring because of it's very airy and I think that also the lace detail on the yoke would help uh, give this idea of airiness to the pattern. Um, so the um, actually the uh, lace detail is only on the yoke and it's like a circular lace detail. Probably what I would change is the length of the sleeve because um, they're very uh, short underneath the uh, arms so I would find a way to um, I don't know make the uh, arm make the armholes uh, more fitted um, so about the uh, gauge it's 22 stitches per 28 rows in 10 centim in a 10 centimeter gauge and uh, the uh, sizes available are seven and uh, the uh, pattern goes from a bust circumference of 99 centimeters to a bust circumference of 160 centimeters. So uh, yeah, pretty uh, size inclusive, I would say. Um, and uh, yeah, I just, I just simply love this because it's very simple, but at the same time it has many details and I think that this would be perfect for also for beginner knitters. Um, and again, of course, this will include charts, but it will it will only be for the uh, yoke detail. Um, the uh, pattern cost is eight euros point forty nine cents, and I think it's a pretty good price actually, because of course, creating lace uh, charts is always work a lot of work, I would say. So then the next pattern is uh, very nice, like I love this one. It's the uh, Adventitious by Olga Putano Designs, but this design was published in uh, uh, issue 15 of Lane, Ma Lane Magazine. Uh, and again, we have a T. Uh, I really like this pattern again because it's very airy and it's very floaty, but at the same time it, it doesn't have that too much fabric around the armholes um, so this is certainly a plus point I would say and in this case the lace detail is simply on the front the lace detail I would say that I decided to include this even if the lace detail almost seems a sort of like textured knit instead of a lace detail but just I like I, I liked it so much and uh, so yeah it's very it's very nice guys i would see myself wearing this every day um so this um this pattern is described by the designer as a roomy drop shoulder top which has a lacy cable detail and short sleeves it, it has an easy to memorize chart throughout the body, so perfect guys, uh, and it's quite a relaxing knit, and it's cropped, knitted from the bottom up and in the round, so knit from the bottom up would, would make this pattern um, a little bit uh, less easy we I would say but uh, yeah it's nothing impossible, like I tried bottom up knits and uh, I think they're quite fun. Um, so about the uh, yarn, again, it's lace, so even better. Sorry, I, I think I'm, I'm, I just hate myself when I say these things because I know that I love uh, very thin yarns, but when I'm in the process of knitting with very thin yarns, I'm just like, 
why did I decide to do that? Why did I chose this yarn? Why did I choose this yarn? So yeah, but just, you know, you just think about the end, about the final project and you feel motivated sometimes. So yeah, <laughs> lace weight and the gauge is 30 stitches per 38 rows in uh, stockinette stitch. Um, the uh, the uh, sizes available are a lot because we have 12 sizes and the recommended is, is uh, between 20.5 and 30.5 centimeters of positive ease and the bust circumference of the pattern goes from uh, 92.5 centimeters up to uh, let me see oh Oh yeah, 200 centimeters more or less, precisely 199 centimeters. So this is a very size inclusive pattern, like I think I've never seen a pattern that size inclusive, even if, I, I, even if you probably did, but uh, like this is my first. So yeah, I just love this one and I have to add it to my, to my queue because yeah, the more I look at these, the more I see myself wearing it. And uh, yeah, the cost of the pattern is nine euros, uh, but I think it's good, like nine euros or else you could decide to buy the uh, issue of Line Magazine, uh, which yeah, I've always, yeah, I think it would be nice to have a magazine, uh, of course, sometimes, of course, it's normal that you don't like all the patterns that are contained in a mag in a magazine, but just uh, your taste is and your uh, I don't know, uh, yeah, your taste is change over time. So, well, there are pros and cons. So the next pattern that I would like to share with you is something that I've never seen before again. It's the Cherie Blossom Fitted Tea by Naomi, uh, no Noemi uh, Dodar. Uh, I'm sorry for the pronunciation, guys. Um, but I just love this pattern. It's okay, you could tell me that this is not a tea and this is not a top, but probably it's the fitted uh, look that makes me think about a tea or makes me think about something for spring uh, and summer. Um, just because, uh, I don't know, yeah, uh, I usually prefer something which is airy and something which has a little bit more of uh, uh, a positive ease, but in this case I really love it because I, I imagine wearing it, uh, you, I, I'm, you know, like in a summer evening, uh, yeah, with that little breeze, uh, uh, yeah, I just love it. So the pattern is this beautiful, um, classic uh, uh, fitted uh, uh, top. Uh, it's worked from the top down and it, the lace detail in this case is on the sleeve. Um, I like this pattern because it is easily modifiable, like there are uh, pictures showing uh, two types of color, so one which is a, a sort of v-neck but just open, another one in which um, the designer, I think, added um, some uh, buttons to close it and also you can decide to lengthen or shorten the, sleeve, the sleeves according to your preferences. So I discovered that in the last period I really like patterns which are uh, easily and uh, modifiable according to your tastes and so this is exactly one of these. So um, about the yarn, again we have a fingering weight with gauge uh, in stockinette stitch of 30 stitches uh, uh, per 42 rows in a 10 centimeter gauge. Uh, and uh, yeah, the size is available. Again, this is pretty uh, pretty different because uh, uh, it has a top-down construction and I think that the uh, pattern gives you details on how to create uh, the uh, perfect fitted tee according to your own measurements. So I would say that this is pretty size inclusive, but at the same time, it won't be the perfect knit for beginner knitters or maybe you should be a, an adventurous knitter because you know sometimes it just 
it it requires a little bit more knowledge on knitting and on garment construction than uh, for other patterns just to measure yourself uh, and go on with your knitting or to uh, I don't know try on your knits and understand how much you have to knit or where you need to do certain things uh, but I think that yeah for adventurous knitters it could be easy and I'm sure that the designer will be more than happy to help you uh, decipher some parts of uh, um, constructions uh, and uh, yeah you know uh, needs construction. Um, so in this case uh, um, there are written instruction charts and video tutorials too, too and there are also tips and advices so I bet this one is a great pattern to try. Um, we were talking about uh, uh, the um, the price, which is 10 euros 90, but there's a note on the pricing because the designer says that her price uh, her pricing is based on fair competition for small designers. Uh, but she recognizes that this is not affordable for everyone, and so to, um, she proposes and she gives a coupon uh, for a 50% off. Mm, if you desire it so I think that this is very fair but at the same time we um, you know uh, buyers of patterns need to be fair too and use this coupon only if we really need that but um, yeah I think that this pattern is very nice I think that I would I would wear it and I think I could wear it all uh, year long not just for spring and summer. Probably I would need this with a three-quarter sleeve or also with long sleeves, I don't know. Um, you know, here in the Netherlands having uh, long sleeves is not that bad. And yeah, I really like this one. Next one, uh, the next one is uh, the Strawberry Field Stop by Camille K. Um, this is the first uh, uh, top, uh, I could say. Yes, this is the first top, but I really like it because it has all over lace and I think that the final result is very romantic and is very, um, you know, is very delicate and feminine. Uh, like, uh, it, it, this is a crop top with lace stitch and square neck. I've never knitted a square neck, so this would be fun. Uh, it's very fluid and drapey and uh, um, I could see this in my wardrobe like it would go with so many uh, pants it would go with so many uh, I don't know uh, jeans and, and so on so this would be perfect for my wardrobe um, the uh, yarn that is used is fingering weight again the gauge is 28 stitches per 34 rows uh, in the lace uh, stitch pattern and uh, uh, unfortunately this is not that size inclusive because we only have sizes from extra small to double XL um, so uh, the uh, finished bust, uh, bust circumference of the pattern goes from 70 centimeters up to 111 centimeters considering a 5 14 centimeters of negative ease so yeah this would be not uh, uh this wouldn't be a pattern for everyone i would say but actually i really like this pattern i think uh, that i could knit this one um and uh, i think that i also love the color that the designer chose because i really for summer and spring i really like the um you know lighter colors um, so in this case also the lace pattern is very nice um, it, rem and it reminds me of little leaves uh, on uh, yeah growing from the from the yarn uh, and about the price it's eight euros eight euros point point forty cents so this is very nice then we have two bonuses um, which are one first of all a pattern that has been released I think one or two weeks ago uh, and the first one is uh, and, and this is the Vilma Top by Gregoria Fibers so as soon as I saw this pattern I was like oh my god I need to have this one I need to have this one just 
you know, I'm including these in this pattern roundup because the title is Vilma Top, but actually I think that this works better as a sleepover and I'm discovering a love, like a passion for sleepovers and vests and so I need to have this one as a vest. So the pattern button is a beautiful top with also a button band so that you can wear it open. But I really like the details of the, um, uh, first of all, of the little leaves and flowers that are created through, I think, yarn overs, but actually I, I haven't bought the pattern, so, but I think yarn overs. And I also love the detail of the ribbing at the bottom. Like, this is so nice. This is like, crazy amazing this is like i'm just i'm just in love i just love every single detail of this pattern and i know i have to knit one for myself the reason why i say that this is probably this probably works best as a vest is uh, because of the yarn weight which is iron weight and the suggested yarn is Pilcolana peruvian highland wool so this yarn is pretty heavy and dense uh, also because the gauge is 21 stitches per 30 rows uh, on an iron weight so uh, yeah the, the, the fabric I bet the fabric is pretty dense so this would work better as a vest according to my to my opinion but fortunately I don't live in Italy anymore I live in, in the Netherlands so I can use this pattern even in summer and spring um, and yeah, uh, the uh, sizes available are exactly nine, so this is great. Also, because the uh, finished bust circumference goes from 91 centimeters up to 135 centimeters, so this is this is great. Um, and yeah, uh, it's uh, I just love this one. I I know that I'm knitting it. I think I'm I will buy the yarn for this pattern as soon as I can also because for my size I would just need five or six balls of Peruvian Highland wool and uh, so the the finished garment would be very cheap for me um, and the uh, pattern cost is um, 7 euros point 76 cents so this is just perfect and then the second bonus is a pattern is a pattern which actually hasn't been released yet but as soon as i saw it i just thought it was beautiful and i just thought i really liked it this is the yorium top by ajo knits knit um and uh, the release date i think is set for this month for june 2023 um so the Yorium top is a beautiful top with, uh, I think, a pretty gapy fabric, um, just giving a look at the, at the images. But the detail that I love the most, of course, is the lace detail in the middle. So I think it's very clean and nice, and at the same time it makes the pattern very easily, rec very recognizable. Um, so uh, the uh, yarn weight is lace, you should like have together two lace um, strands uh, and the suggested yarn indeed is Isager Alpaca 1 plus uh, Isager Trio maybe, I don't know, but um, yeah, so this is weird to understand and in I, I've seen that in the last period that the another trend is to put Isaget Trio or uh, some a different Isaget yarn all together uh, and held them together to create patterns but actually I don't know how much I will fall for that like I'm still undecisive if that's just to make us spend more on yarn or that or if that is just because of course uh, the different uh, strands give different um, I don't know give different uh, uh, textures and uh, uh, qualities to the final garment we will see that uh, but it doesn't matter because I just love the pattern <laughs> I just love the look of, of this uh, of this uh, of this top and the gauge is 17 stitches per 28 rows so I don't think that this is really lace or maybe this is just because it's lace but within a gapy fabric 
Um, and the, the sizes available are seven. So the, the chest circumference of the, of the finished top goes from 81 centimeters to 126 centimeters. So this is not that size inclusive as, as one would like to see, but uh, we could work with that. Um, and uh, yeah, of course we can't see the um, the um, no, I think this pattern has just been released. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, this pattern has just been released, and the price is fifty Danish crowns, which I don't really know how what this means, but guys, yeah. I'm discovering this with you. <laughs> so uh, this pattern is already available, not on Ravelry, but on uh, Edu Knits website. So but just if you go on Ravelry, then uh, you will have the link directly to the website uh, and you could buy this pattern. Um, and yeah, this is just so nice. Maybe I will need this one this summer, yeah. I'm thinking about it. Okay, um, so this wasn't a bonus. Just, this was just another pattern just released like, I don't know, two seconds ago because I don't know when this happened. Um, and then I have uh, some free patterns for you guys. Um, so finding good free patterns sometimes is very, it's very hard, but I think that the reason why it's like that is because sometimes um, photographs and pictures are not that good as for you know professional designers or designers who uh, get paid to design or who uh, sell their, their patterns because of course it's a different price point um, but I found something very interesting and the first one is a free pattern um, by Phil Colana uh, which is the Antoinette by Dieter Lerche. Uh, I think that this is the pronunciation. I don't know if this is like a German name or some, um, some or something else. But if it was if it was German, it would be read Dieter Lerche. Um, so um, this is a beautiful, very drapey and um, and light pattern with. Uh, um, lace details in with these eyelets that surround all the garment um, and balloon sleeves so I just I think that this is very dreamy and elegant and also romantic um, the um, description of the pattern says that this design is inspired by the decadent underwear of the bygone time of Marie Antoinette, where the ballrooms of Versailles uh, were filled with gold and glitter. Antoinette is a lace t-shirt with bodily glittering, glittering rib edges, and as you can see there are glittering rib edges uh, on the sleeves uh, and at the bottom of the of the mm, of the uh, top, but actually I think that I wouldn't make them in uh, with glitter because I just like my tastes are much more simple, uh, much simpler. Like I don't like glitters, and so I would just need with the recommended yarn for the body. Um, actually, um, the uh, yarn weight is fingering. You should use uh, Filcolana Merci and Filcolana Paya uh, all held together, I think. No, both are using the pattern. So probably Paya is the glittering yarn that you find at the bottom. So just with uh, Filcolana Merci. So the yarn weight is fingering and the gauge is 26 stitches per 30 rows in a 10 centimeter, in a 10 centimeter uh, gauge in pattern so with the eyelets details and unfortunately the size inclusivity is not that great it goes from a size small up to a size double XL and but I think that this is normal also when you consider that this is a free pattern so uh, yeah this is very nice I don't know if I would need this for myself uh, um, but probably this would be something that I would keep into consideration also to make, I don't know, a gift maybe for my mom. Yeah, I would see my mom in this 
in this uh, beautiful t-shirt. Um, and then I have one last recommendation, which is again a free pattern. Uh, this time is a pattern from Drops Design. Actually, it was very, very hard to choose a lace t-shirt or a top pattern from Drops Design because, oh my God, they have so many, so many free patterns for la with lace details. So, just my let's say that my last recommendation is to go on the Drops uh, website and I don't know browse all the free patterns that are there and find your and find and find your the one you prefer because really you would find so many lace patterns and I chose one my favorite one is probably the eco mountain top and I really like it first of all because it is a little bit fit, more fitted than others that I that I showed you before so I like to also have uh, you know uh, the possibility of choice in my wardrobe. Maybe sometimes I feel like wearing something very airy, and some of the times I prefer I prefer fitted garments. Um, this one is not too fitted, uh, and uh, it's worked uh, top down with a round yoke, and it has this lace pattern, uh, which I found uh, which I find very nice, especially because of the twisted rib which gives that, I don't know, I love the um, finishing, the finish look of uh, the twisted rib because it's so clean. It just, I don't know, I just love watching at that. And I think it, uh, yeah, I just love watching <laughs> twisted rib. And then uh, there are eyelets uh, all around the twisted rib, which creates this sort of flower around your neck uh, on the yoke. And also, I really like that the twisted rib detail is uh, uh, continued somehow also in the ribbing of the uh, arms and in, in the ribbing of the body. So, just love that. Um, talking about uh, yarn weight, it's Aran. It's knitted in the suggested yarn it's drop Paris so yeah iron weight is a little bit harder for spring and summer but well uh, at the same time drops Paris is a very cheap yarn so maybe you could give it a try and indeed it's just like a free pattern so you wouldn't even have to pay for the pattern um, and uh, sizes available go size of, sizes available go from a size small to a 3XL so pretty size inclusive to be to be uh, a free pattern and yeah this is very nice I think I think that I would like at least to try and knit this um, detail on the yoke I think it has a very clean look I think it's very I don't know I think this is very elegant and this could be perfect for a different occasion. I don't know whether you would like to go out to the park or whether you would have, I don't know, you have had a, a, a date. So it's pretty, uh, you know, you could use it for different things. So guys, this was my last pattern recommendation. Of course, what else? What I can say? Of course, if you have, if you know other lace patterns which are, um, which you like and which you think would be perfect for spring and summer, you could also write them down below. I love hearing your suggestions and I think that a lot of the uh, inspiration that is around knitting comes from confrontation and hearing from other knitters opinions so let's say that this is was this was just a hint that this was just these were just suggestions for you but uh, I can't wait to hear your suggestions to me um, as I told you before, uh, uh, you could find all the patterns that I uh, named, that I presented you today on my Ravelry page on, uh, in a Ravelry bundle that I will link down here in the description. Um, and yeah, I think that this was all. Um, thank you so much for listening to me. Uh, not just to these, not just for watching this video, but also all the previous videos. 
I just I couldn't have imagined uh, that much support from you guys um, so if you like this video please give it a like if you would like to stay here to stay here for a little bit please also consider subscribing to the channel and if you want to have some more updates from me you can also follow me on instagram at uh, at elisa knitting stories um, usually i post uh, i don't know maybe let's say weekly if not daily um and yeah i will see you the next time so uh have a nice day and happy